If you're selling or you're buying or moving right away, the Ellis team can help you. Call the Ellis team today. Three decades of experience makes them your very best choice because they know the market. At closing, you rejoice. Hello and welcome to the Future of Real Estate. I'm Brett Ellis with the Ellis team at Keller Williams. And this week, we want to share with you some common mistakes that cost sellers thousands at closing. Now, don't worry. Everything we say today, we're going to have a free report. We're going to tell you how to get it at the end of this meeting. But I just thought I'd have a little conversation with you uh, about some of these items. So I'm going to share my screen so you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. These are the common mistakes that sellers make. And the first one is lack of promotion. So what lack of promotion is, is sellers don't give it enough time to put the property on the market and promote it. And when I say promote it, we promote to out of state. We have artificial intelligence that tells us where the buyers are, are coming from. And down here in Southwest Florida, we've got buyers coming from everywhere. California, Illinois, New Jersey, New York, uh, just every place imaginable. But we have these patterns of where people are coming from. So we'll place those property ads in those metro areas where they're coming from, and we're able to pluck buyers that are looking for that sort of thing. They know we have a shortage of inventory, and they call us quick, and they see if they could get in on it. And uh, that's one reason we're able, one way we're able to drive these prices way up is, and another reason why locals are having a hard time competing, we've got so many buyers coming from out of the area. But you got to promote it outside, and you got to know what you're doing. The second thing is, you got to give it time. So if I, one of those agents says, up, oh, sold a home the first day on the market then I didn't really, I didn't really wait. I didn't test the market. So the last home I did, I gave it five days. And I said, we're going to take all offers on Monday afternoon. I'm going to present them all to the seller. So I had agents, I had over 500 calls from agents calling, hey, do you think this works? Do you think that'll work? Well, they, look at this. We accept my offer now if we come in at this price. Nope, going to present them all Monday afternoon. So I ended up with 50 offers. And we sold the home about 26% over list price. So that was a good deal for the sellers. But back to the promotion. We marketed it all over the world and we let it simmer. We didn't take the, the first offer the first day. And believe me, almost all the offers were full price or better. Um, yeah, maybe there was a couple that weren't or they wanted the seller pay some closing costs, uh, that sort of thing. But we found a cash offer, well over asking price. And, uh, you know, seller's happy as pie, the buyer's happy as pie, and it's, it's because we did it right. Um, the other mistake I see people make is maybe they've got a tenant in the property. They say, well, the tenant wants to buy it. Well, here's what I find. A lot of tenants, they're a tenant for a reason. They either have bad credit or they want a deal. So if you give them a deal, you're not maximizing out top dollar for you. And... If they have bad credit, they may not be able to pay as much as another one because it's going to cost them more to borrow if they can borrow it all. So what I tell people is this, we'll give the tenant a chance to bid on it just like everybody else, but we're going to show it. We're going to put it out there. And if they're the best bidder, fine. But if not, you've just undersold your property, give away all your equity to a tenant. So um, the other thing is the strongest offer may not be the highest offer. And what I mean by that is this. Let's say I have a hypothetical, let's take a $500,000 listing, okay? Uh, $500,000 home. I might get a bid at five seventy-five, dollars but it's a buyer putting 5% down or a minimum amount down. And the home may not appraise at five seventy-five, dollars and that buyer doesn't have the ability to pay the difference in appraisal. So therefore, you're going to be putting the property right back on the market, or you're going to have to drop your price. But if I give it time, and I find another buyer that's got 20% down and another 20, 30% safety net and is willing to waive the appraisal contingency and they'll pay the difference, you're better off taking that buyer. Better yet, find a cash buyer, you know, don't, don't need appraisal at all. Now, a lot of these lenders, if you're putting enough down, they waive the appraisal. Uh, they do this mumble jumbo underwriting thing where they don't need an appraisal, but you can't count on that. And you can't count on who the appraiser is going to be and if it's going to be a good appraisal. I'm seeing agents fighting appraisals all the time. And sometimes a 3%, 3.5% down is the best offer you get. 
but you really got to sweat out the appraisal. If I can give it time and avoid all that, that's really a good deal for the seller. Um, appraisal is another thing that's in this report. I won't go to, into too much more about that. The as-is contract. We're seeing about 40 to 50% of our offers down here get canceled because when you use an as-is contract, it's not what you think it is. It, the as-is tells the buyer you're buying it as is. Of course, they all come back with, I'll buy it, but I want these six things fixed or I won't buy it because they have an automatic right to back out for any reason. They don't even have to do an inspection. They can back out. So the reason I went back to the standard contract is we've got a lot of buyers that are tying up properties. Maybe they're making offers on multiple properties or they're, you know, haven't been here. They haven't even seen the home. So they fly in from New York. They look at it and say, that's great, but two more homes just popped up on the market, two streets down. Let's go look at them too. Oh, I really like that one better. It's got a better view, a little better pool. Um, the outdoor kitchen's a little better or the price is better, something. And then they bail on that deal. So you've been tied up for 10 days to two weeks and you lose your deal because you used it as his contract. We've got a different contract that's standard and we use those and there's pros and cons to each, but we love to talk to our sellers about that. And it's a way to keep our deals together. And so far, since we've been doing that, we haven't lost one deal yet. So just something to keep in mind. Um, for sale by owners, a lot of people say, you know, I'll sell the home on my own. And you know what? This market's good enough. You might be able to do that. But you're probably not maximizing your value. So I charge a certain percentage rate. But if I get X percent above what I charge, did I really cost anything? No, I was free. In fact, I paid you to do all the work. because you know, I'm able to expose your home to more buyers. We know what we're doing. We know what offers to take. We know what offers to stay away from in terms of financing, appraisal issues, inspection, insurance, all kinds of things. Um, so a lot, lot of things to keep in mind. Having the wisdom of a realtor makes a big difference. Um, a lot of people think, hey, if I just listen to MLS, doesn't matter what realtor I use, or I can't even use a discount broker. It absolutely matters what realtor you use. In this market, Choosing the wrong realtor can cost you thousands or tens of thousands of dollars. I've seen it firsthand. I've had a lot of people call me up and say, oh my goodness, I just sold my home. I see you put a home on the market four doors down and you got $80,000 more for your property than I did a week or so ago. How did you do it? And I tell them, well, I've got strategies. We've been doing this for over 30 years. Nobody markets the way we do in Lee County. It matters. And, but people think, hey, and it's natural to think this, the more I pay you, the less money in my pocket. When the reality is, doesn't matter what you pay me, it's how much I bring you. And so we're able to bring to the table a lot more for our sellers uh, than a lot of other realtors or these discount realtors. So the other thing is you have to know if your property is sellable. There's been a lot of changes in insurance and been dealing with issues all this week about roofs that are right on the borderline in terms of the age of the roof or the water heater. People don't realize it, but insurance companies are canceling policies over the age of the water heater. So you have to know what these are and then you have to be proactive so you keep your deals together. We've been doing that. We're keeping all our deals together, but inexperienced realtors uh, or ones that don't have, maybe they're new or maybe they just only sell two, three, four a year. They don't, they're not up on all these regulations. It's expensive for them to get their education on your listing, you'll find out and it'll cost you tens of thousands of dollars. And you'll realize, hey, I maybe saved 800 bucks on the commission with these guys, but they cost me $80,000. So um, it's kind of expensive mistake to make. Uh, I've got a lot more points. I'm gonna put a link to the article. It's actually over on our blog. What I suggest you do is subscribe to our blog. And every time we write a new blog article with helpful information like this, you'll get that email to you. So you can keep track of what's going on. The other thing, go to our YouTube channel, uh, the LSC YouTube channel, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, we're going to work on doing a better job of, you know, posting more videos like this. We've been so darn busy, uh, you know, helping out our buyers and sellers, but uh, we're making a commitment this year just to pick it up that way too, to help you guys out. So I'm Brett Ellis with the LS team at Keller Williams. I know it's been a long video, but I hope you found these tips helpful. If you want to call me, um, if you got a property sell, 239-310-6500. Uh, my email is brett, B-R-E-T-T, -T, at topagent.com. If you want to find out what your home is worth, go to swflhomevalues.com or call us. and We'll just have a chat and kind of talk about what we can do for you and 
how we do it, what your property might be worth. Thanks for tuning in to the Future of Real Estate presented by the LST team at Keller Williams Realty. If you're selling or you're buying or moving right away, the LST team can help you. 